so. That's not very good. Piecewise functions is what we're going to talk about today. And they're really not super difficult to understand. Um, once you kind of get the general idea. So we have this like, they're pieces. Um, and it kind of gives us like this range of you know, like numbers. Okay, so really what it's saying is, so if I was going to do, let's say, f of 4. So it's saying like I'm going to plug in 4. Well, I'm going to use this top one if the number I'm plugging in x is greater than or equal to 3. So since I have 4 is greater than 3, then I'm going to plug it into the 2x minus 1 part. So instead of x, I put 4 And we get 7. Okay, if I was going to plug in f of 1, okay, so I'll use the top one if x is greater than 3. Well, 1's not greater than 3. So remember this like format here in the middle, I'm going to plug it into x plus 5 if, and really we're looking at if it's between 3 and negative 1, or negative 1 and 3. Okay, well, 1 is between negative 1 and 3, so. I'm going to plug it into the x plus 5 part, and I get 6. Okay, um, if I was going to do f of negative 5, well, on the bottom one, I plug it into that. If x is less than negative 1, well, negative 5 is less than negative 1. So I plug it into that part. Okay, so it's really just saying like, which one do I plug it in? Well, where does your number fit? So be careful though of, you know, like if I said f of three, well, I got a three on the top one and the bottom one. So be careful of where's the and equal. So f of three, x is greater than or equal to three is the top one. So I would plug it in to the top one. Okay, so for the negative, if you had to plug in negative 1, so, where, you know, and negative 1 is in the middle one and it's on the bottom. Where is the and equal? It's in the middle one. So I would do negative 1 plus 5 is positive 4. Okay, so that's all you're going to have to do today. It's, there's a lot more to piecewise, but we've just said, you know what, let's make this a little bit easier on everybody and we'll just do the evaluating part or the plug-in part. And we won't do any graphing or anything like that. So um, it's all just um, plugging in. So pay attention though on your problems, you're just doing three through 12 there's an f of x function and a g of x function. So if the problem said, like the first problem is f of negative three, so then you go to the f function part and where does negative three fit? And then there's later on it's, you know, g of one. So you're gonna plug in one. Make sure you go to the g function and where does the number one fit? And then that's what you're gonna do. Okay, so just whatever letter 
is used, F or G, go to the F part or the G part um, of the problem that's listed right above it. Okay? Hopefully really simple for you. Um, not a lot to it. Once you kind of get, you know, the, the rhythm of it, I think you'll be perfect. So, all right. Have a great day, guys. See you tomorrow.